Have you ever not liked a person you collaborated with? Explain the Dior feud. Have you ever flirted slash hooked up with a celebrity? Have you ever had sex with a girl? Uh, <laughs> Mom, if you're watching this, please don't watch. I'll call you. Grandma also don't watch. <laughs> Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Hello. I moved my arm. <laughs> oh my God, does it feel good to be back here on my channel? I missed you guys so much. If you watched my final video of 2021, you could see that at the very end, I made a little announcement on why I would be leaving social media for just a little bit. I can't tell you when, cause I'm getting my boobs done, but I'll see you when I see you. I got a little some something done to my body yaddy. Body yaddy yaddy yaddy. <laughs> Um, I actually got a boob lift. I mentioned it at the outro of that video, but it was so fast and so quick. And I usually feel like nobody even like watches my videos all the way through to the end. So I was like, nobody's gonna hear this. But then someone said, <laughs> hold on. How did the boob improvement turn out? Hey, you want a juicy? <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that my surgery went great and I could like film an entire video on it. I'm healing. That is also why in this video, okay, well, first of all, let me tell you what we're doing in this video, okay? Hello, welcome back. So in today's video, I am addressing all the questions I've been avoiding throughout my career. I went over to Instagram stories, I posted a little sticker and I asked you guys to ask me the most juicy questions or just questions that you feel like I've been avoiding for so long. It is time for the truth, everybody. It is time for the truth tea to be poured and sipped and it's all getting spilled today. <laughs> and usually I would do like Q and A videos like this while doing my makeup, while doing my look, but because I got my boob lift surgery, I can't put my arms higher than this. I can't lift anything heavy. And basically it's about two weeks ago now. So I have to keep it easy. You know, I, I shouldn't like even me doing all this is a little bit too much, but hey, rules are there to be. So sadly, I won't be able to show you this entire look, but look at these under eyes. Look at my skin. If you know me, you know that I'm a huge fan of the KVD Beauty Good Apple Foundation. Well, guess what people? KVD just came out with the Good Apple Concealer. I've been using this for a couple of weeks now, even before my surgery. Um, I got an early package sent in and earlier this morning, I also applied it. KVD Beauty came out with the Good Apple Concealer. Uh -huh. I'm talking instant full coverage, extreme long wear, and crease resistance, hallelujah. So let me quickly apply my foundation and then we can play with the concealer. Now I've had the pleasure of playing with this concealer for a couple of weeks now and trust me when I say this is super lightweight, but it has all the pigment. So you get that full coverage without that cakey layer. I am taking the color Light 109 and let me show you in that applicator. I don't know why, but I love this applicator. Pop some on under the eye. You can just see that pigment already. Just watch, just watch, boom. <laughs> Literal insanity. Like this concealer is no joke. No joke. Like look at that. Flawless in one go. Like sleep, sleep deprived. You see how fast that was and how little I used? Well, that was little for me. <laughs> Do I have to say anything else? I don't think so, huh? Ooh, okay. Of course, you can also use one of the darker shades to cream contour, darling. But just a little warning, okay? These are super pigmented, so you only need a tiny little bit. And I prefer putting some product on the back of my hand and then pick it up with a brush. Because as soon as like the stripes and the dots dry, don't want that. We're taking that. We're just gonna press this on where we want a cream contour. Ooh, yes, okay. Okay, and I'm using the shade Tan 169. It's already mined. Now, I can't predict the future, but I think this concealer will go crazy viral. The KVD Good Apple Concealer is available at Sephora, and thank you so much, KVD Beauty, for teaming up with me for this video. How are we feeling about this? Because I... I'm living. I feel so cute, but fierce. All right, so uh, without any further ado, if you are in the mood for some truth, if you are in the mood for questions I've been avoiding my entire career, let's go. 
All right, all right, all right, all right. Now you guys went in. Okay, I have all the questions. Oh, by the way, that little Nimya pop socket, hello. We gave these away for uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday and even for a couple of Christmas packages, but we might have to bring these back. Should we bring these back? as a gift. Okay. So I got a bunch of questions from you guys. Some are juicy, some are risky, and I am here to answer them all. How old were you when you realized you're a girl? Now this is, well, first of all, if you're new to my channel and you hear this question, you're like, what? Uh, hi, my name is Nikki and I am transgender. And that means that I was born in the wrong body, I like to say. And to me, it truly feels like that. And there's been research done that kind of proves this point. So often I get the question like, when did you know that you were a girl? And to me, I've never known anything else than me being a girl. I was just trapped, literally, in the wrong body. Um, I got several tests done, I got several scans done, and I actually have women brains. Yep, I have female brains. It's literally the, the, the outer shell that just didn't match what was on the inside. Um, so yeah, I am transgender. And basically, there wasn't a day where I went, I think I'm a girl. <laughs> to me, it, it just always felt like I was trapped and I just couldn't understand why I had to wear boy clothes or why I had to, you know, live that life when I knew that I am a woman, a girl. So there isn't really a day. No, it's just my being. <laughs> Who is somebody famous you with no doubt would never do the makeup of? JK Rowling, you can eat dirt, ma'am. Goodbye. <laughs> Next. Have you ever gotten drunk and sent an embarrassing text to a family member or friend? Have I? <laughs> Wait, have you ever gotten drunk? Yes. And sent an embarrassing text to a family member or friend? No, um, uh, but something else that was awkward happened. My brother's ex-girlfriend once sent a very risky action Snapchat of herself to me, which was supposed to go to my brother. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> that happened, moving on. How did you feel about a video of yours being on Euphoria? Oh my God, in case you missed it, Kat was watching one of my tutorials in episode two of Euphoria season two, and that was such a huge surprise to me. I didn't know this was happening, so I woke up and I got like so many messages, so many tweets, so many DMs saying, girl, did you see? And I was like, see what? See what was going on? And then I saw the clip and then I, I texted my manager, Wes, and I was like, what's, what's going on? Manager tutorials, tell me what's going on. And he was like, surprise. <laughs> so apparently months ago, they asked him for permission uh, to use that clip. And he knows how much of a fan I am of Euphoria. He didn't tell me, he wanted to keep it a surprise. A lot of people wanted to know if we got money for it. No, no, we didn't ask money. <gasps> Should we? <laughs> Next up, when was your first time with Dylan? <laughs> I didn't know this was gonna, you know, turn into that video. Okay, you are a juice. Oh God, my first time with Dylan. Am I gonna say this on the internet? We waited like a long time. Well, not that long, but like we we waited. Like it wasn't on the first date, it wasn't on the second date. I think it was like date three or four. We waited like a long time. You know, I can actually explain this a bit more. Because I, okay, this is gonna turn out to be like a whole lecture. Um, because I'm transgender and I got my um, bottom surgery, I guess you could say, I treat that place down there like it's a goddamn temple. I'm very neat and safe with it. I'm not the person to like do all that. Uh, because I'm very insecure about sharing my love and being intimate with someone. So I'm, I'm really not that easy to end up in bed with. It takes time for someone's allowed to like enter the dome. <laughs> I can't believe we're saying this on the internet. <laughs> Mom, if you're watching this, please don't watch. Please, just I'll, I'll call you. Don't watch. Grandma also don't watch. <laughs> so yeah, we waited a, a good bit, like at least like, Two, two weeks and a half. Moving on. Ooh. Have you ever not liked a person you collaborated with? Oh, absolutely. 
You didn't ask me who. Moving on. <laughs> no, I can answer that. Can I answer that? Well, okay. You know, there's always collabs that really stick with you and other collabs just kind of feel like work. It's, it's funny because uh, you go into collapse with a, a certain expectation and then they're not always met and that is fine. You know, some people are a bit different than what you think they are once you, you know, work with them or film with them. Uh, you want names, huh? You want names. I think for me, am I really gonna say it's <laughs> And I, I think, that that person was very professional and very sweet. It just didn't stick as much. I didn't have like a, a historical, like funny moment with that person. It was fun, period. I think it's because this person did six that day with different people. It felt a bit like rushed and like this person had been doing it all day. And I feel like we could have done more. Oh God, I could not say that, but yeah. Okay, moving on. Hi, why do you use heavy filters in your stories? Your makeup is flawless. Wow, I didn't know I was gonna get red like that today. It's the roast of Nikki tutorials. I think I like how you say it's in stories because like recently I was scrolling and I was looking at my photos, I was like, who was that girl? I was face soon queenie. You know, so airbrushed that everything looks flat. It's, you know, too much. The high Highlight that's like brighter than outer space. Outer space is dark, but like stars in outer space. It was such a huge trend to have like a face tuned face back in the day. And the, the question concerning my stories is because I'm insecure about skin texture. I have the newest iPhone and the quality pickup on skin is like insane. Like I actually feel, and I know a lot of people say this and it's like, oh yeah, whatever. But I actually feel like the camera on the iPhone makes skin texture more, like it pulls it towards the foreground. Like it makes it, you know, more of an issue that it actually is. I feel like a, a little filter just, you know, helps me out a bit. I'm definitely open to using less filters, but I guess sound off below in the comment section and let me know how you feel about filters on Instagram stories. Let's have like a nice open discussion, like a healthy discussion. Let's, let's not cover each other's necks, please. Thank you. These are some juicy questions so far. Okay, moving on. Explain the Dior feud. I cannot. Like I literally feel like I cannot. You know what? I actually thought people have forgotten about the Dior thing. I, I guess people are just noticing that I'm never using Dior on my face or ever in life again. I feel like the Dior feud in and of itself could be an entire story time video. If you guys want it, I want you to give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below whether I should do it or not. Okay. What is the worst thing about Nimya? <laughs> Uh, the worst thing about Nimya is uh, shipping. Working with shipping partners is a world on its own. Oh, by the way, if you're new here, Nimya is my own brand. And we like to say that we live in a world full of labels, but with Nimya, you get to create your own. And it's my little baby. Uh, we created a couple of beautiful products and getting these products sent to your house is challenging. And there have been hiccups that we of course fixed, but it's been a little, you know, challenging, but I feel like we're finally there. I'm really proud of our team. Oh baby, just just wait for 2022. Would you rather have sexy time with Tom Holland or Zendaya? <laughs> that is a question. I love both, but like I mentioned earlier, I am very protective of the and if there's one person I trust with that, it's Zendaya. <laughs> Have you ever thought about leaving Dylan? Oh, no, what are you, t we're getting married, what? It sounds so freaking cheesy, it sounds so corny, but you know when people say, if it's the one, you know it. And uh, for the longest time I was like, yeah, right, bullshit. But I'm gonna confirm that. Once you know it's the one, you know it. And with Dylan, I, I know that he's the one. Please, if we ever are getting divorced or break up, don't use this clip. <laughs> I am 100% me when I'm with him and I don't have that with anyone else. And he just, he's my person. So no, I've never thought about leaving him. Well, once, when he stole my chocolate. Now that you have Nimya, will there be a Nimya eyeshadow palette? 
You do the math. <laughs> Have you ever lied on how much you liked a product, maybe in your earlier years, for a paid ad? Ooh, the juice. You know what the thing is? Back in the day, I used to do a lot of sponsored content. I never, never, like I can, is this how you do it? I put this on Dylan, my dogs, my family, my entire worth, all of it. I promise you that I have never lied for a product ad, ever. There is one situation where I wish I would have done more research. Back in the day, the, the like, the teas, you know, the detox teas where you could lose weight with the teas. I promoted them once because I'm not gonna lie, they gave great money and I saw the Kardashians do it. So I was like, if they're doing it, I can do it. I wish I had done more research back then because after I posted it, so many people educated me on why it isn't necessarily the best. That was a great lesson for me. That really taught me that before I commit to something, I have to do my research. I'm, as you know, I'm also so open about burping on camera. <laughs> so let's say I'm talking about like this makeup by Mario bronzer stick. Like, let's say I'm talking about this. In the video, a little icon will pop up. And earlier in that video, a list of those icons will tell you what they mean. In this case, the PR, little icon will pop up telling you that I received this one in PR. If it's an ad, the little ad will pop up. So I have an entire list for that that makes it clear on what's going on in my videos. What cosmetic work have you had done? No shade, just genuinely curious. Well, my dear, take a look at my face. There's your answer. <laughs> I have always been really, really open and honest about this. I have had work done and not a little bit. I've, I think I've hit every spot of my face by now. It has toned down over the years. I think when I look back at years ago, my lips were the size of a fish bowl up with the fish inside. I feel like we did a little bit too much, but I'm never the one to like promote it. I think it's great that we live in a world where we can get a little help when we feel insecure about something, but I don't think it's ever our job to promote it because it's such a personal subject. If you feel insecure about your lips, only you know that you are insecure about your lips. Who am I to be like, oh yeah, fill them up. Mm. But yeah, if, if you ask me, I have gotten a lot done. Don't necessarily talk about it every day, but I also don't make it a secret. I have Botox to lift my eyes. I have Botox to make this not move. I have filler in my lips, but the last time we put filler in my lips has been over four years ago. I know a lot of people say that, but it's actually true. And I feel like my lips have you know, shrunken down quite a bit and I love them more and more. I have filler in my chin because if I don't put filler in my chin, I have a little butt chin. I used to have filler in my cheeks, but then I was like, well, girl, you don't really need that because you already have super round cheeks. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I have quite the experience when it comes to getting help uh, with your features, but um, I also feel like it's not the right thing to do to like promote it too much, but if you ask, yes, I've gotten a lot done. You wanted the truth, you get the truth. <laughs> Who would you rather collab with, Ariana Grande or Zendaya? Oh, I love both. And they both follow me on Instagram. Oh God, no, I don't wanna do it. I wanna do both, like, can we do like a, get ready with us, like the three of us together? I guess the only thing that helps is that Ariana has REM Beauty, so that could be like a faster link between us, which Ariana, I'm here, call me. And Zendaya, well, Zendaya's really talented in doing her own makeup as well, so I think that would be great too. You know what, it's whoever calls first, and I'll pick up right away. <laughs> Have you ever flirted slash hooked up with a celebrity? No. <laughs> no, I mean, I've kissed with like a Dutch artist once, who's had like an international hit. I'll, I'll let you, oh, I'm really excited to see who you come up with. Um, it's, an, it's a Dutch artist, male, with a big hit that went viral all over the world. So good luck with that one. What was your least favorite Eurovision Song Contest 21 song? Oh, people are gonna hate me for this one. Take a shot, take a pop, 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 Oh. Sorry, <laughs> don't come for me. In your opinion, oh my God, I can't answer this if I want to get invited back. In your opinion, who was the worst dressed at the Met Gala? 
You know, I actually want to make a return and I don't want to piss anyone off. So I don't think I'm going to answer this. <laughs> I will say that I feel like for the theme that was, you know, given to us, I feel like not too many people really were inspired by that. It were gorgeous dresses and gowns and suits, but I, I didn't necessarily feel like you could see the theme in everyone's looks. And that's all I'm gonna say, because I want to get invited back. Don't come for my neck, don't. <laughs> have you ever had sex? <coughs> <coughs> Wait, that was not intentional. Have you ever had sex with a girl? Uh <laughs> I got this question a lot, actually. I feel like this is such a hot question because people were like, well, back when you had, you know, a different body, did you ever experiment with that? And the answer is no. I was disgusted by my body. I felt trapped by my body. And every day living in that body was hell. So I never acknowledged that part. I'm attracted to guys. I'm attracted to men. So no, I was never attracted in a way to have sex with a girl back then. You know, I've always thought that women are beautiful, beautiful creatures. We literally run the world, girls. I love girls. I have kissed with girls as Nikki, okay? Not dead name, as Nikki. I guess it's like whatever, you know? And to come back to the question, like if you and Dylan would ever break up, it's not gonna happen. It's, I'm not speaking anything into the universe, but if it were to be, I guess whatever, you know, it's whatever. Is this another coming out? It's whatever. You love a person. It's, it's, it's whatever. You know, if you love someone, you love someone. It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. So, um, I haven't had sex with a girl, but I wouldn't see why I wouldn't have sex with a girl actually. So, uh, no, but no, no. Complicated. Oh, my God. Body count. I have spoken about this. Three. Am I seeing this on the internet? What is going on? What's next? Like an OnlyFans account? What's happening? <laughs> Who was the last person you unfollowed on Instagram? Oh. Oh. Oh, I don't know if I can say that. <laughs> the next launch of Nimya. I can't tell you, but I can tell you that it's on my face. Right now, right now, yeah. I'm like, you guess what it is? It's not the eyeshadow before you freak out, but I am wearing new Nimya products on my face right now. And you can see them. They're not hidden underneath or anything. You can see them. Do we have more? I think that's it. Oh my God, is that it? Are we leaving you on that? Oh my God, we're leaving you on that? I guess that are all the juicy slash tea questions I've received from you over on my Instagram stories. Should we do a Dutch word of the day? We should do a Dutch word of the day, huh? Okay. The Dutch word of the day is for juice. Now we're gonna make it quite literal here, okay? Juice is like an actual juice. Sup. S -a -p. Sup. Oh, the sup is hot, baby. <laughs> oh, we're spilling the sup over here, sweetie. <laughs> now, I love doing videos like this. And to be quite honest with you, I love doing it just sitting down, not worrying about my makeup and, and planning when I can speak, like when it comes to this long story. But like, I love just sitting down here and speaking to you guys and sharing all this truth. So if you wanna see me do this more often, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And also follow me on Instagram. So when I post these stories, you can actually send in your questions. But if you don't have Instagram, of course you can always send in your juicy questions down below in the comment section. So what are you waiting for? Give me the juice. All right guys, that is all from me today. I wanna to thank you so much for your juicy super questions and uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I love you to the moon and back. I love you so much. And hopefully I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.